just submitted with one addition, Mr. Chairman, if I may, and that would be to add a plan of public comment section after uh, next steps, next meeting, by the public should arrive as far as we wish to comment on the meeting's proceedings at the end. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> That's my motion. I'll second that addition. Motion is second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion will carry. Public comment. Any public comments? Hearing none, we want the business at hand. Number one, review and discuss review of and discussion about ordinance. I.e. the ordinance for the operation maintenance of all water supply facilities of the township. Did you have a chance to review it? Or? Mr. Chairman, would you like me to add some context? Sure. To the initial item. Uh, what, I, what we've included in your packet is uh, the ordinance as approved. Uh, confident that everybody has one somewhere in their file. I thought for quick reference, I have one here this evening for you. Uh, what prompted putting the ordinance on the agenda right at the top was that I, even though it is relatively new, passed about, what, uh, less than three years ago and went into effect, if I recall, in February of 19, so not that long ago. There are perhaps some things that we need to look at with a constructively critical eye and make a determination as to whether or not they need uh, tweaking, amending, uh, a complete rewrite out of whatever. And if you'll indulge me for a moment, I'll share a few samples. For example, on page two, uh, we use the term premise under L on page two, but we mean a parcel of land. And what a premise for many uh, identifies where someone resides. And we're talking about it as a piece of property. I think we need to either broaden the scope of the agenda, uh, or excuse me, broaden the scope of the definition, or uh, more precisely define it to be one or both, because it has caused some confusion in the past when people follow with more than one piece, from parcel on a piece of property, et cetera, uh, as to how many hookups are required to have and what have you. We do have an issue down here, for example, about a possible land split, and we would, of course, if that ultimately gets approved, and there's a separate dwelling on it, singularly owned, two parcels, and we would want two owners. That's my, so just looking at some of the things that we define and seeing if we can perhaps make them clearer, more understandable. Uh, another example is found on page five, and there are a number of in there, I'm not just, I'm just picking out a few that are easy to find. Uh, second sentence reads under uh, mandatory connection required upon demand by the township board, owners of premises land accessible to public water supply system shall connect and use uh, connect with and use the water supply system. You can complete the entire sentence, but it implies in that sentence that people that are in proximity to our water lines really need to participate with the system. And we do have examples in both communities where people are in proximity to the water system but are not hooked up to it. And we're not collecting the administrative fee, and obviously we are not uh, addressing costs. Water is available to them, but not necessarily being utilized, and they're not helping pay for the system. And then plotted in uh, communities and in proximity to water. And the opposite direction is we're getting calls from people who are buying property out along the lake shore here in uh, Tamarack City uh, and asking if we run water lines out to them. And we've had more than one call of that nature at the office, and the answer is we do not. They're expected in plotted or semi-developed property, if they're going to develop it, they should run a line to the property from our main line, and the costs are borne by them. Well, that's something else that might require some attention going forward. Just grabbing a couple more, if I may, uh, on page nine, under 
section seven rates for water service. Uh, the charges provided for in this ordinance are hereby levied upon each parcel of land, building, or premises. So we there's that definition again that is broader than how we define a premise. We're adding pieces to it, for which means a connection into the water system will be provided by the township. We're providing that, please correct me if I'm wrong, Bob, up to the curbside. We do not provide the service line. That goes to the homeowner's responsibility. If there is an example of a somewhat broader definition of who's expected to hook up or to have water available to their, their property, if you will, or their dwelling. So I've kind of gone through this just to highlight a few on page 10. Again, water availability debt retirement. All premises located within the township and for which a water connection is available shall pay a monthly fee. So again, we're saying that individuals who have water available to them, connected or otherwise, really should be helping pay for the system, whether they at this moment are not part of the system, not hooked up to it, not paying for it. So minimally, they should pay for the water availability. I don't believe that we're charging some most or all of the people that are in that condition within the township. So what I am suggesting, what I'm asking the members of the two utility boards to consider is that we take a little time, not necessarily this evening on it, but on an individual level and go through the ordinance with a constructively uh, critical eye to see what needs to be tweaked, what needs to be improved, enhanced, what might uh, stand to be deleted, combined with another paragraph or portion of the ordinance. By no means is this uh, an exclusive list of items, but uh, I wanted to highlight some that were fairly obvious and I think we've discussed at various meetings in the past. To conclude with on page 15, section 10 violations, uh, it starts off with any person who damages or uh, in any way, shape or form damages or in essence destroys a piece of the water system property, but because our ordinances have civil infractions, it states further, township resolution shall be guilty of a municipal civil infraction. It does state further on under violations of all criminal matters, but I think damage to water system property may be an exception to the civil infraction and should be looked at if it more as a criminal charge, perhaps as a misdemeanor at a minimum or perhaps even a felony and breadth of the damage. So just some things that I, I, I highlighted during my review of it, uh, by no means an exclusive list, but I'm suggesting that because there are some things that perhaps are a little contradictory, a little confusing, or maybe uh, following the spirit and letter of our ordinances relative to civil infractions, but are really uh, misdemeanors or conceivably felonies, depending on the amount of damage done, uh, we might need to tweak change, correct, update, or what have you, the language. I'm suggesting we do that individually, bring it back to our advisories, if you will, in each community, and then feed recommendations up or perhaps address it at our next scheduled joint meeting as to how to proceed. How about uh, under penalty of violation section 12? On page 15. Yes. Do we need to consult an attorney to make sure that it's clearly put together in conformance with the Michigan Civil Law? Yeah, that's an excellent question, and any changes to this ordinance would go to our attorney for review. In fact, we had a work group to put this back into contact about, about three, three and a half to four years ago that worked to uh, address the issue of combining all of the ordinances that dealt primarily with water, but in essence utilities, water, sewer, and township, and combine them into one ordinance. And I think the work group and our then attorney, uh, Mr. Galbatello and Nick Galbatello, did a pretty darn decent job combining and collecting, but I think by the group's own conclusions, it may not have been uh, a complete job, but it was certainly a substantial upgrade approved by the township and gave us a single document to cover both systems, which we did not have before, if I recall correctly. But now perhaps uh, we've reached a point where we've experienced enough with this ordinance that it would be beneficial to review it in detail at the uh, individual and then uh, 
advisory group level and bring forth recommendations to update the ordinance, do a draft of those documents and then get them down to our attorney for review and ultimately recommendations from him as to how to proceed. I think it's important to note here that like some of these things have already been discussed and well I agree previously. Yeah. Um, many of them which I have been a part of, for instance, civil infractions are there because the board reads Just, just pointing out that some of this stuff has been beat to death already in previous instances, however, not in a group combined like this. So I, I guess it's okay, but there is there is definitely reasons in, in past meeting minutes that we probably found on, on why, why some of these things are what they are. It may not look like they make sense, but there's, for instance, legal reasons that, that they say the way things the way they do. Civil infraction thing. The most obvious reason that, that we're at a civil infraction and not a criminal infraction is because the sheriff department basically said they'll never enforce any of our any of our criminal ordinances. They just basically said we will not enforce them. So if you want to enforce a criminal criminal thing, you need we need to hire as a part of our township our own constable or something like that. So unless they're willing to go that route. This is why civil infractions are in here, and they can be transferred then upon that to the property owner's taxes later. So there's there reasons why they are the way they are. I, I know that it may not make as much sense, but it, it comes down to what can we actually do if we if we were. So, so it's important to understand that this document has been beat up, um, and there's no reason why we can't beat it up more, but um, just, just to understand that even if we do make recommendations that a lawyer will be important and, and may shoot down some things that we, we, we come up with. Well, I don't think so. We should really, instead of giving the, the evaluation of whether it is civil or criminal to the attorney and to separate right. out what, what's criminal, for example, it's criminal when somebody comes along with a sledgehammer and pounds I mean, there, there is criminal actions out there that could be that could become a a, a part of a uh, vandalism type thing, mm -hmm. which is a, a different ball game altogether. Well, that's that's the point I'm making. You know. But if it's a property owner monkeying with a meter, for instance, or something like that, there's a reason that we have fines and civil infractions. Um, is it's really the only thing we can. It's impossible to enforce anything else. Uh, we've tried in the past, and then gone to court. Doesn't work. Just doesn't work. So, point well made. And if I could just interject something, Mr. Chairman, if you read the paragraph under the one I highlighted, it goes, I think, to Aaron's point because it does talk about criminal action, but it, it there's not a definition of what would be the tripwire. So, I, I understand your hesitancy. And I think we have to keep all of that in mind because it is addressed, but in sort of an oblique way without defining what that could be. And I'm in no way saying that reviewing this isn't, isn't a good idea. Lots of different eyes from different perspectives. Uh, we just need to make sure that, uh, that we're okay with the outcome because it, it may not change at all. That's why I'm going saying that there's there's different different routes for things like vandalism and stuff like that that we don't need to include in our ordinance. Mm -hmm. We're not going to define that. So that was just an example. Yeah. I was just using that as an example of some of the things that may look funny in here, but have been beat up to to nausea in, in the past. And uh, when we put these things together between the two, 
I actually thought Nick Davidelli did a pretty good job of combining combining and, and putting these two water systems on a relatively similar page um, to try to help everybody here in the, that's working on these go forward in a straight path instead of a, on a couple different crooked ones. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. There is stuff in there that you can clarify and you wouldn't know about it until it comes up. Oh, we probably had some bullets. Yeah, I know we've had some bullets. And yeah. I know there's some stuff on this list here that we're probably going to talk about. And there may be definitely some stuff we have to add to this. I just was yeah. I was just showing you that yeah. there was some of these things may look funny, but there's actually a reason for it. So. Okay, that's, that's for my suggestion is I mean, you know, Mark made a list here. We go line by line. Like it, mark it, good. To hunt and peck through this thing, every individual at home and come back to each perspective, we're going to drag this over once. Yeah, I don't want to do it. That's my opinion, I want to do different points, but I think we just go line by line here and say, okay, which, which is good, which is bad? We want to change. If we find definitions that appear somewhere else, we will address them as we come across them, but um, listen, that's what we're different. You want to do it, go through the whole thing. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with, in my opinion, just going through it by sections and going yeah. and, and saying, let's review it, talk about it, and then once we say we, we we've heard all the things that we can talk, we we can go over, and maybe there's some somebody can put some kind of a final document together that can be reviewed later, and and uh, finalized uh, with an attorney or something like that. I mean, that's possible. We have to. It has to. Oh yeah, this went oh, yeah. through the attorney once. I mean, it's not once; it's been through it. But I mean, we can't change our ordinances. We do have a new attorney, so it'll it may look they may that this attorney may have different opinions than the other one too. So yeah, if, if you go through this section by section of exclusion, to me the biggest problem with this whole thing is there's only a couple areas where it's different from all the other areas. Otherwise, it's pretty much covers it. But like rates in that are a little different. I think that'll pop out once we get to the different little section. Yeah, to, to pick up on the theme, if I may just offer something, the reason to suggest that we all take a look at this is to drive the agenda for the second meeting. That might be the final meeting of the group and do exactly what Steve is suggesting. But to come with having had an opportunity, whether it takes a half an hour or an hour to go through it personally, to have that underneath you so we're not reading as we're trying to make decisions, but instead have highlighted because of our own analysis and go spend the hour at our second meeting, if you will, to go right through the ordinance as Steve is suggesting, paragraph by paragraph, section by section, with tonight's discussion in mind and the review completed. The, the, the way the agenda was set up was as, as informal as possible to stimulate the very kind of discussion we're having. And then under item two, which we really haven't gotten to yet, is simply to say, here are a whole mess of topics that sort of relate back to the ordinance that we talked about at our various meetings in one way, shape, or form or another. What are the priorities in here which have immediate relevance to the ordinance? And identify what we want to tackle right away, if any. Uh, as we do what Steve has suggested, uh, a paragraph by paragraph or section by section analysis. I'm just suggesting that it might move that meeting along much quicker if we do the personal analysis prior to that meeting. We come prepared to say, this is what I like, but I don't like. I just wanted to throw the topic out on the table so that if keeping the meeting to an hour or less tonight, if I may offer that as a suggestion, that we see what we have in front of us, and we look at things that we've discussed in the past, which I've tried to capture and you've tried to capture. Because most of the things that you see under item two are things that you've brought to the attention of the particular water board that you're on, or boards in some instances, the things that we've discussed in passing when we bump into each other that pertain to the, the water system or the sewer systems. I, I know 
know when I had talked about having a joint meeting here together, a couple, there was a couple things that I was really thinking about. Uh, like one of them is is the the late fees and the, the fees that are associated with um, water damage type issues. Um, I, I feel like that's like a really hot button thing mm -hmm. that's in both communities. And I'm not sure we have the tools at our hands to make, or that they're they're complete to to deal with a couple of the instances that have come up. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll talk specifically, and, and we can talk about them again later, but uh, I'll bring up, for instance, Richie's market situation, and I believe there's somebody over here, in, okay, where, wherever we got a point, but somewhere, somewhere here in town, there's another person that had another similar broken water main, lots of water, blah, 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 type of, type of situation where I think this group needs to come to an agreement as a as a as a larger group to to um, how are we going to handle that because we're not handling it. The, uh, well, we're making people mad. I'm not sure we can not make people mad, but I I don't know if there's a better way that or if we can come up with an agreement on a way to do this so that we can move forward on a couple of these items that are just kind of sitting there. Right away, too. Property owners that sold, the owners that sold that we have to replace in my opinion. What about that extra fee? Wasn't there some additional fee too or something like that? Or I, I can't remember. I thought there was a, wasn't that similar to the Richie situation where they had a lot of water or, or something like there was water in the basement yeah. or? Uh, I, yeah, yeah. He's talking about lice, you're talking about the one on the corner. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Light, yeah. I thought, I thought there was, Place. Place is one you're talking about. And that's one of them. I mean, but those are the types of topics I was hoping to 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 shoehorn out and get get done. We don't want to deal with these we're kind of like leaning, this anymore. I'm kind of leaning that way. I mean, this is all good enough. You know, we can do this as as we go next meeting or whatever. But those important things like that are the things. I think why this board got together because we didn't know how to handle it. And that's the bullet points. If you look, for example, at Rates and costs, fees to include late fees. Yeah, and, and then that's you what get I mean. past, and the next one down is past due and delinquent by accounts. And, and that's what do we want to address tonight and try to find consensus about. So those are there as talking points for action, actionable items, from the standpoint of making a recommendation up to the board if we feel comfortable with what we've concluded. Right, what I did want to have happen is the Osceola Township Board looks at those and we make a decision on how we're going to handle that at the Osceola. Water, the water board, I didn't want to make a decision on our water board and then all of a sudden, well, Tamarack just has to fall. That just, that's, you know, and then they don't get any input. So the important part about this is it's a similar topic that affects both, both of the communities and we need to make sure that we're dealing with it so that one water board isn't making the decision for the other one. Yeah, but both boards are advisory, so. They, but they are, but I mean, you know. The final decision it is, but that's why they, that's why the, the whole discussion needs to happen. Yeah, but so it's not a problem if they if we make a decision, and we're only saying to to Mark when he's at at our meeting that this is what we would like to do, and this is what we would like the board board address uh, at the next uh, you know township meeting. So that's so that's not a real problem. That's what Mark yeah. Said that. But what was happening is we were talking about it at our water board meeting try to keep water board business, right. you know, water system business at the water board meeting if we can. Make recommendations to the township board so that that stuff can be relatively quick when we're talking about that, those, you know, operational stuff. So, the, uh, what, uh, what are we gonna do tonight? Follow the agenda or are we gonna go through the uh, ordinance? I guess that that's the discussion. Honestly, I just got the agenda handed to me I'm kind of in the dark with the whole thing. So, so, so what I, 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 I appreciate that this has been brought to the brought to the table because some of what we're talking about is on this. But what I really want to talk about is is a couple of things that are that are outstanding as of right now for both systems, so we can come up with a way that next board meeting we can tell 
Richie, this is how it's gonna. This is this is what we're doing. Are they on the agenda list? Yeah, that's yeah, they're on there. So we're, they're 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 broad, but they're that's not specific, but they're on there. Okay. And that was, Mr. Chairman, that was the intent. So if you'd like me to jump into that, just to quickly run down the list without spending any time on it and taking out what Mr. Janke suggested we do looking at delinquent accounts and ways to address it. So we could come to perhaps consensus here and make a recommendation up to the board when it meets on the 10th as to how to proceed. That's fine. The topics that you have under item two are compiling of all the things that we've talked about. And I'll go back to the rate and cost of the system, fees to include late fees, and jumping down into item four, pass through and delinquent accounts, are up at the top for a reason because they have been discussed. And that very points that Aaron was making a moment ago. The annual and amended budgets, there's a budget meeting on the second, and we'll be working through those in some detail next week. And then for the balance, fire hydrants, uh, we think we've addressed an issue here relative to charges in the amended budget for Tamarack City, but we've got issues up on the north end about cost. They're on there just generally. Mason sewer project, uh, part of our utility system, and we need to be aware of that. We don't need to talk about that. Uh, at this evening, same thing with Torch Lake Sewage Authority. We've got, it impacts Tamarack City only. Mason is hooked up to water system through the Dollar Bay water system, if you will, or Osceola. Michigan American water rate increase, that affects only Camerack City, and that's gone into effect already. Water system improvements. I, I, I'm gonna expand upon that one, and, I'm, and, it, and it, it goes into the next one, that Michigan American water rate increase does actually affect the, the Osceola Township one if you start to consider a secondary water source. So, so just keep that in mind, and that's one of the reasons why I think that's a, a joint topic is because um, I've, I've stated many times, and Bob knows this, that I think that, there, and Mark knows it too, that I think that eventually one of our goals should be to uh, supply our own water to our own township, because we already have our own wells. And what it takes is a line between Mason and, and Tamarack here, which is not, Small, what is it, 1.6 miles or something like that? I don't know. I think it's a little less than that. 1.2 miles, maybe. Regardless, a little over a mile. When we really, when I, when I originally, originally was on the negotiation team for that uh, Michigan American contract, I made sure that we had it out in there because originally, originally started, I believe we were paying four dollars a thousand, um, and I was very concerned that for a private company, there was no there was no, um, there's no set of reins on them. They, they can do whatever they want. If they want to double the rate, there's, they're, they're a private company. There's, there's no set of reins on them in terms of what Tamarack was going to end up paying unless we had an out clause that says, if you do this to us, we can get out, you know? And so that's, that's and, but in order to get out, we have to have another source of water. For instance, I don't know what what are we making, what are we making water for right now, Bob? Do you think three dollars a thousand, maybe? What do you think? Yeah. yeah. So when we first started this contract, just you know, I used to figure in when I was calculating this that we were doing about two dollars a thousand in Dollar Bay. You guys were paying four dollars a thousand to buy it from Michigan American. Now you're up to what? Eight dollars a thousand, and we're still making it for Eight under three. three. That we're paying the wholesale rate is slightly less that the township's paying Michigan America. I, I, I'm just saying yeah. that the, that the rate that's being paid has doubled, but here we are. Our own township is still making it for under three. It's 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 not. What I'm saying is that we're still at the mercy of Michigan American, and they can do whatever they want. They can they can add four more bucks on tomorrow, and we really couldn't say anything because they don't have any kind of elected board, they have no outside influence whatsoever other than you guys just yelling at them. Well, there's socks. What are you gonna do about it? Well, you ain't got nothing you can do about it. Um, so that that's why I think that that's an important dual topic because um, we have, we make our own water already. So 
Just, so just so you understand that, just for context. Um, just so you understand where I'm going. Calumet with that Township one. is in the process of purchasing the Michigan American Water System, which is actually better. And we will have them at our November or December meeting. Except for, you know, there's no voting members from this system in to that owner. So that, that's the other thing there. Fun question. I, I, I know you want to get back to the other. Okay, stuff, I, I'm, I'm just putting out there that that I, want, I that topic I think is a big one. It's out on the side, but okay. You, you guys know where I'm at with the fees one. You guys know where I'm at with the water rate and Michigan American one. You can continue. Well, I just wanted to put note that if the system is being purchased by Calumet Township, it then has uh, internal administrative responsibility being shifted over to what looks like the North End Sewage Authority yes. as part of the mix. But uh, again, a noteworthy, but a topic for another day. The rest of these things are you know, infrastructure staffing uh, under long range plan, that's where we would look at a water line between Mason and Tamarack City down the road, perhaps, just putting it on there. The stimulus money, uh, my recollection conversation is that's been now approved mm -hmm. for us, and we can start putting our plan together as early as the 10th of November at the township board level as to its utilization, assuming there's guidance coming in to what we can use the funds for. We're talking about something more than $190,000. This is not the federal stimulus package still hung up in Washington that is going to be somewhere around $1.1 trillion that is still high bar to that human infrastructure one that's not been voted on yet. So, and role of utility boards and responsibility of the township board you alluded to. But those were just talking points that have come up in previous discussions. Uh, Mr. Chairman, might I suggest that we go back to what Mr. Janke has suggested we address over the next several minutes before we adjourn and look at delinquent accounts and rates and a possible remedy that we could recommend up to the board? <coughs> yeah, no, I, I, I understand that this was brought, but I know that when I suggested this, this is what I was thinking. And it's not that you guys can't bring something else to the table. I just was, this was what I was hoping to bring to the table, and there could be other things brought to the table too. Well, I've got a question because I talked about the money side of it. But are there, are there problems with the fees, including late fees, and bad fees, and I'm going to count with which one? Yes. 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 Okay. Mr. Mr. Chairman, may I suggest that Mr. Janke expand on what he did a moment ago and enlighten us as to how he believes it should be. Yeah, you know, I don't know nothing about the Richie deal. Okay, well, I, I, you know, maybe Bob can talk more about the, the one down here in Tamarack, but the, Richie, the Richie's one, um, uh, what, do you guys remember what the bill is right now? $1,400. $1,400. Past, past due. Um, basically, he broke a line in his house going down from his upstairs rental bathroom that went down into his basement and he didn't know it. And over time, over the course of a month, he he racked up fifteen hundred dollars in water charges. What is the water? How does he not know it? So what is the toilet was the problem. Yeah. It wasn't it leaking out the back or something there was something was, broken there? He, he thought it was should have flooded his basement while it, the water ran into a septic system. So you don't get over there, you could run water and then it go forever. And, and Tom Spur is another one. He tested his, uh, Mark and I tested his meter. Same thing. But he's insisting, Richie's for instance, is insisting that the water meter is broken. That's what happened. It had nothing, it couldn't be, it couldn't be anything in their place. It, I don't want to uh, let you know that that's a two month read plus his bill from the previous two months was already climbing up and he 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 missed it the, the, two months before. There was so significant, wasn't there significant, wasn't there significant damage to the house too? Was there, wasn't there damage to the house right there? That, uh, some of the stuff going down the steps? And, and 
No, I the, thought there was the, some damage back there. No, it was the bathroom upstairs. Yeah. It, what happened is the floor, floor got wet and the tank actually sunk and it, and it pushed up against the tank, pushed up against the wall, so it was running down, down the, the wall. <coughs> And it's, it's a bathroom that used to be in the store before, but the bathroom got moved closer to the store itself. And he, was, he claimed that you should have been able to hear it, but you know, and, we and, the the reason, yeah. and the reason he's, he told me, he says he, he could, it smelled funny, you know, and it was like where it was, it was flush all the time, and it was cold, and it stuck. So we tested the meter, meter came out good. Um, there's also, uh, you know, he's trying to claim some things, but usually a meter failure, if a meter fails, it's usually in the customer's favor. There's almost never, and I mean never, an occurrence where a meter reads high. If it starts to fail, it usually stops reading. They're not mechanical. They're, they're not a mechanical meter. They're doesn't work like that. So um, when they fail, they they stop. They basically slow down and stop reading correctly, and eventually, it, it's actually usually in your favor. So a lot of these people that are saying there's a my meter isn't calibrated correctly or something, it, it, it it's never that. It's it, like 99% never that. So these people that are complaining that around around these communities here, that's not it. You didn't, your, your toilet was leaking. You're, you, you had a problem in your house. You you did something and now you have a $1,400 bill and Richie says we're not paying. So, you know, do we want to, I mean, one of the suggestions and it actually came from Ms. Lordy is, uh, you know, we, he's asking for forgiveness now at this point. And one of the suggestions, and I, and I don't mind it, is that, uh, you know, you if you make them prove that they spent money to get make sure everything's fixed and good, so this can't happen again. Uh, maybe we can give you a fifty percent reduction or, or or some kind of incentive to make sure that they just don't let it continue to happen. You you, you, know, you know what I mean? But we don't have any vehicle in this to do any kind of that stuff. You know, I mean, it, we, we and and I think you have something similar here in Tamarack where there's a. There's a large bill somebody's asking for forgiveness from or something along those lines. But ours is a totally different situation. That's okay. It, it's, it's, the forgiveness part that, it's the forgiveness part that's second here, which is the past right. due delinquent stuff. I agree. But but see, you can forgive more dollar bay than we can. I don't know. We can't just keep forgiving. Well, I know that. You know? <laughs> we, we can't, but it's not. I'm not saying I don't want to. <laughs> I, I don't want Water's more expensive here. Well, and I mean, you have another. Dollars. You have a secondary bill that's you know. But I mean, our bill is, you know, the pump energy that it takes to you know. We have right. a, they're they're not quite as as visible as. Here's a bill from Michigan American where you had right. ten thousand right. gallons of extra water went somewhere. And we had to pay for it. And you guys got to pay for it. That, that's that's a direct cost, and you're paying at a higher rate. You know, obviously you're paying at eight dollars a thousand and compared to I mean you could have, you know, eight dollars a thousand if you if you blew ten thousand gallons or something, you know, I mean you know, I mean well, what? It's 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 eighty bucks. But still it's somebody's not gonna pay for it. Obviously Richie's went through a lot to get to fourteen hundred you went through a lot of water. That meter read a lot. You went through a lot of water to get to that kind of number. What's twice as well? Yes, it's the set of the record one earlier. Right. Eleven hundred. That you guys are out in the Tamrack community. Similar situation, asking for forgiveness maybe or whatever, you know, and we haven't seen them. And, and, and what do we do about this? The it's a lot of money. The rich latitude. That, that was my original thing. I said I I I know that when I just let me I'll just say I had a, I bought a house across from Richie's it came with like a $400 water bill that I didn't know about. The only way I could get the water turned back on was I ended up having to pay that water bill, the liquid water bill. I have a problem with just, 
I do have a bit of a problem with just saying, you're, you're forgiven, you know? So I, I, I'm with Steve on that. I'm like, you, I had to pay it. Why do you not have to pay it? I don't, I don't get that part exactly. But, you know, is there, is there a vehicle to make sure that they fix something so it can't happen again? Maybe there is something there. Or we could just all agree that we're just gonna hardline this and you're paying or, or it's going on your taxes and that's that's that. I mean, that, that is, that we can just do that. Hardlining is a pretty good lesson. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it makes you learn real quick. Well, I mean, you know, I know we're gonna tell them you have to fix this and they're gonna show us proof that we fixed it. But they're not gonna to wanna to pay another $1,400 bill either, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna fix it. I, I, agree with you. I agree with you. It was only a, only a suggestion. It was. Yeah, I, oh, I agree. I'm the problem is, where does it end? Where does the forgiveness end? That that's the problem, and that's why I don't. Yeah. And so once you set that precedent, which we've already or nothing. It's come up in many times in the past. Precedent is that because once you once you set that and say we're going to forgive you for this, then everybody's going to want forgiveness. Yeah. Everybody's going to want the one time. <laughs> forgiveness <laughs> doesn't matter. You're going to wind up. You're going to have to keep coming. You have button runs on everything. Well, and that's another, that's a whole other thing is the let runs. If we don't have permission to have a let run, we had a list out there that says if you didn't fix your water line in in uh, two years, you're on, you, you would, and, and then we had somebody last year that let it run, and then they were surprised when their bill was whatever, and they were asking for forgiveness for that. I think that happened last year. So, not here, but the let run's gonna be, oh, my toilet leak. I was in Even though it was a let run, they know what people aren't dumb. They're gonna hear about the Richie thing or somebody else's forgiveness. Right. And they're gonna say, hey, I want my water run, they're gonna charge me half. Yep. So it gets it's black and white. Well, you know, if, if, if it's a problem with people saying, oh, you know, after we give you the, the initial of, go ahead for forgiveness, is if it's that time we have to consider putting together a forgiveness fee on our water run. Well, and that was the problem is, is if, we don't, if we start doing that, we need something in the ordinance. Or coming out of this meeting, my thought is, is we're going to go back to Richie's if that if this is if we're going to go with. I'm 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 totally with Steve here. I'm, I'm with him. Yeah, Tracy. See ya. Yeah. Bye. We're going to end up going back to Richie's right after this meeting and said, too bad, too sad. That that that's will that that's what likely will happen here if we. If we go down that road, and, and I'm I, I'm on board with that too. So the, the ordinance does provide some latitude for the township board. Page eight fees, charges, and penalties. Right at the bottom is a single sentence. The township board may, in its discretion, elect to waive any fee, charge, or penalty as determined on a case by case basis. My suggestion is that there it is. is. That goes away. My suggestion. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> well, that's the thing I never is, agree with you. If we choose to go after it, our options may be that we turn it ultimately over to collections. We may not have enforceable powers other than shutting the water off. And we're entering a period of time where I don't know that we can shut the link when it comes off between November and April. I mean, can't these go on their taxes eventually? I, th I thought we had this written. We do. Link, we can put yeah. the link when it comes on if taxes. If they haven't made a payment in six yeah. months. But they're making the regular bi-monthly payments right now, just not paying the past two right. months. And even if you put on your taxes, we don't have to pay that. Not immediately. There is a period of time that they have to pay it their It can be a very long time before you do that. Exactly. But the, the, the mid-ground may be to come up with a gradual scale for forgiveness of part of the bill. That if you pay it within six months, you get a 25% discount on the past due amount. And we, uh, we avoid some of the issues around potential legal action, we enter into a schedule that if they default on a payment, then they order. And that's relatively easy to prepare. You know, 14, dollars $1,500 past due bill, if you've got to pay 75% of it, you're looking at something north of $1,000. We give them the winter period in this instance to pay off a bill. You pay your regular bill and you make installment payments on the amount due of $200 a month for six months, at twelve hundred dollars, there's forgiveness of part of the bill. There is a formal letter that goes with this yeah. that he yeah. attached, asked for this forgiveness. Just yeah. so, so you guys know. And I don't, I don't and have a problem tape. with the payment plan. But I still can't see reducing the cost. <laughs> yeah. 
And that's where you get into the differential between the two systems because Tamarack City residents have to pay for every drop of water coming from me, right? But I mean, you know, if you want to pay $250 for this, that's fine. But I don't think you get it rewarded for screwing up. An issue that is not the fault of the water system right. or any employee of the township. This is something that happened on their premise. What we might do, if that, going back to uh, where the idea originated in part was, I, if I recall part of the discussion, please correct me if I'm wrong, that the amount of money it took to repair the damage was what was forgiven. The bill still had to be paid, but if it cost $200 to repair the damage, then we could say, we'll help, we'll forgive that part of it since you repaired it. But if you, there's no repair to it, then what we've got to brace ourselves for people to say, I'm not gonna pay it, and we'll track the retrieval of the funds. Ultimately, I think we're turning it over to collections. And, and yeah, I don't, see, that's another approach we can't do because you know how easy people can rig a bill to make it look like they paid a half a lot more to fix it than. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's not that hard to get some buddy contractor yeah. to put you together a yeah. fake thing. Yeah. And make one out of words and stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, Bob's in the particular, you know, places as well as I do. You know, they're, they're going to scream until it hits. And, yeah. I'm Still, something broke, a lot of water was used. <coughs> now you have this bill, $1,100. Hasn't been paid, right? Well, is it yeah. going to be paid? Or? Here's the other issue we got. Because with Tamarack, they get the bill from Northern Michigan Water to pay it. So this may have been paid by us, but not by them. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is, yeah. is that we paid you, you guys have already, uh, already, well, absorbed, that you already absorbed the cost. Now the problem here is is that uh, you know is is do we do a partial forgiveness because we feel bad for them or do we just hardline this and say you're paying this or it's going on your taxes or you're going to get a go to collections like Mark said and and their sewer thing is a totally different thing because the sewer pay, the sewer one sucks because they have to pay sewer on that right now they probably did pay sewer on it. I don't know whether that's that as charged. Doesn't it go right well, off your is, water bill? It's paid off your bus. It's, it's paid yeah. off your water bill, and we yeah. probably paid it. So they have to go. Um, we have to go back after the sewer bill. We can pay us back for paying for the sewer. Bill. No, yeah. only water that money that is collected is sent to the sewer department. Don't you, you send us a bill? It is not. No, it's calculated. It's calculated in the in the town, township office by the amount that is collected. Okay, it has no. nothing, it's good to know. Yep, that helps, that helps. It's yeah. outstanding, in other words. It, it is outstanding. It's just outstanding. Yeah. So the sewer authority technically, has you know, he, yeah, yeah and, and honestly, it, it obviously didn't put out the sewer. It, it right. ran out the right. window or whatever, but, but you know, uh, and, in and Richie's case, it did go down the sewer. Um, yeah, and if they would come approach the sewer authority, yeah. we could say it went into the sand, into the ground, it didn't go into the sewage, we could forgive it, sure, because we didn't have to bump it. We didn't. It didn't get treated, right? Yes. On the other hand, the residents of Tamarack City, through the township, <coughs> already paid the bill to the water company. Right. Right. Yeah. If, if indeed it is the view of, or that a recommendation will up to the township board Just for actions. Right, no, we paid the water. No, no, I'm talking about the general topic. Then I'm sorry. I know. But we paid the water bill, right? Yeah. So therefore, wasn't it billed? Wasn't the sewer going to bill? No. Different. He's saying it comes from a different it's location. Selected. Build but not collected. It's separated. The water, the, the water money, right, gets put over here. The sewage gets put over, over here. Right. I know that. Okay. If I only pay for the water that I used, not the sewer part of the bill. You know, say it's twenty dollars for the water, right, and thirty for the sewer. And I walk into the office and say, "Here's twenty dollars for my water." They, 
and then we got so they can separate it and not and put send some to the sewer authority, but they're only going to use that twenty dollars that I paid. They're not going to pay okay the whole thirty. Yeah, I get oh, it. I, I get it. Well, it's based on the customer paying out of us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. It's collected, not it's not what, built. The reports right. are run out of our system right. to determine. Okay. Which helps because I thought there was another part of this on the Tamarack side that we were covering sewer bills and they weren't getting paid for. That I thought that, but maybe that now now I know that's not the case. So in essence, the water that so that really helps ran through builder basement was paid for by well, yeah. township office on behalf of the Tamarack City but resident. Collected from them, so therefore the sewer. But it wasn't collected from them. We made okay, that. That helps. Perhaps a way to. Expedite this is that there seems to be pretty much uh, consensus around the table that collection of pass through accounts is critical and important for both systems. That we may want to look at recommending up to the township for they proceed, but negotiate a payment plan as part of the process so the amount due is paid out over an acceptable period of time from the standpoint of the delinquent property owner slash water user. So what are we thinking? Like on a thousand dollar bill, are we thinking fifty dollars a, a bill or so something I'm thinking like that? Six months. We have a structure in yeah. place already. Okay. For that. So we can use that structure. Use that structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So to me, that's one of the topics that I felt needed to get discussed by the joint board, and that this would be, this is going to be fine. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it goes up to the main board. This is fine. We're not, you know, when we finally answer this letter the last the last time. This is it. There's, we're, we're not going to revisit this anymore. It's or at least not with this group. There it is. Mr. Yeah. Chairman, might I suggest, and since there seems to be consensus, that this board would pass a motion recommending that the existing practices and policies, with the utilization, if need be, of a scheduled payment for pass through water, uh, be implemented in pass through accounts at the discretion of the board, and they would take action when they thought it was appropriate and necessary. Are you making that motion? I can. I'll support it. Motion by Mr. Hawthorne, supported by Mr. Janke. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That motion will carry. Mr. Chairman, I don't know that there's any other pressing matter for consideration given the discussion we've had this evening. I would still like to recommend that we... Was there no other bullets? That we were dodging here, Bob. Just was that the last? Was that the worst one? That was the worst. That was <laughs> the worst one. <laughs> I just want to make sure before you move well, on here, Mark. Done. I, uh, my only thought was is that we plan to meet again and address other issues along with the findings of the review of the ordinance I, I, at our next meeting. Yeah, I mean, I think another one that's coming up is now that this COVID money is out there and it's going to be used for uh, a lot of it. Is probably going to use be used for utility systems, I think that that, that discussion is going to have to come before the two of these groups. Yes, um, we'll need guidance, but we don't have direction yet, if I recall correctly, in looking at this with the confirmation. So given the, the time and trying to keep the meeting in and around an hour, and if we get together again in three, four months to do our review and comment on the ordinance itself, it might take 15 minutes, might take an hour, but uh, then we take the next bullet up. Because there are, there's another little fine tuning you have to do if you think so. Because we're letting these people do a payment plan, right? Yeah. That. Therefore, their payment is late. Is that a late fee? I can see people bitching already. I'm paying no. a late fee because I didn't pay mine on time. But no. Let them pay $100. No. It only is applied on your current bill. Can you clarify that? Yes. Okay. That's well, it's already applied. applied. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm waiting to make sure. Yeah. Um, how many of these do we have, by the way? I think there's three. two or three. It's not like a, it's not a, a few and far between. It seems to happen more than you'd like to admit. At least once or twice a year. Assuming then that the township board takes affirmative action on this on the 10th when it next meets, then what we have is we have a policy that is going to be fully implemented after that date with a recommendation coming up from this joint meeting saying, Follow the procedures, follow the protocols, utilize the payment schedule, and 
expect action to take place at the November meeting with letters going out immediately thereafter with the delinquent accountant saying, this is the decision of the township board on this matter, and we will work with you on a payment schedule in essence, but the past due amount is past due. Otherwise, it ends up on your tax bill, et cetera. What about the staffing one? I think that's an interesting topic too that that's immediately a concern right now. Well, simply put, we don't know. <laughs> the existing staff are filling in. More Tracy and Krista are handling the uh, activities at the office. The position has been reposted for the third time with updated job descriptions going out, and they are due back on Monday, the 1st of November. My, my problem with this is, is are we going to have to consider as a group two different, that we may have to do more here to attract somebody that that spot. I mean, it's going to be hard to operate without somebody there that's doing the bills and, and knows how to run that system and, and all this. It's, that's that's going to be pretty challenging for this group if we don't have somebody in there that can do that kind of stuff. And what do we need to offer as a group to a person to get them there? I, I, I don't know. There are three, four times we posted this and we get, and it has to be and we get nothing. Well, there, there is another option which the sewage authority has, which is they have a firm out of state that is doing billing for a certain portion of the sewage um, customers. And uh, so the question is, is it really a challenge to find somebody to enter the chain someone? We want to take a look at that as an option. The hard yeah. part about that is, is that that person does more than just you know, they're, they're kind of an office manager yeah, but, type but, person. But, you know? but we need to have the billings done each month. And so it depends on which, if, if which one you're talking much, about. But if it becomes too much of a burden for current, you know, for, for uh, the staff that's left and, and we can't hire, then the point is we need to find a way to get it done. I, I, I agree that we can't rule anything out at yeah, this point, no, I guess. So I, I agree. Well, all I'm saying is, you know, we don't, it's not something we, I'm pushing. I'm just, suggesting no. it so that it's, it's important enough that uh, you know, we, we need to keep our buildings up. A, a second look at it, I agree that you, you can't close any door at this point. Fine-tuning this job and making it more attractive to me would be a lot easier than doing it. Well, we, we, we have fine-tuned fine it, we put it out there, we have had some response to it, we just don't have any applications in yet as of the morning of the 27th. I mean, this is, this is going to get ugly if this goes on for a month or two. We're not going to find anybody at $5 an hour. No, no, no. Well, <laughs> that's part of the, what I'm working through relative to amending budgets right now for consideration next Tuesday night. The draft should be done, I hope, by Monday to get out to everyone. But This is a relatively skilled position, in my yeah, opinion. We're yeah, we're looking at a substantial to, increase. In we need, we need to, and it's going to affect, because I would say, what would you say, that's 75% that's of that person's job at this point? Is at least probably, half, if not more. Probably associated with the with the utility departments. And broadening the definition of the job uh, is probably we're looking at probably somewhere in the fifty to twenty hours a week range. Yeah. Someone who would be in there maybe four days a week or conceivably five. So that may be what we have to do to get that's somebody. That's my point. Yeah. And a couple of people who talked about applying, I know would not. If I'm going to do the job, I'd rather just do the job instead of putting somebody in there who can't do the job. And then oh, I'm and then helping them 24-7. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's not worth it either. We need, it's a skilled position. It, it really is. is. Mm -hmm. they, you got that special that special specific. software that it's not word perfect, you know, or Microsoft Word. It's, it's <laughs> special software that you got to know how to deal with. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's the most complicated in the world, but it... it it's it, not user-friendly, though. It, 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 so this is for both uh, systems, right? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's a it's a high priority, I would say, for both systems. But don't worry. Come up with a plan. Don't worry about things not getting done. It's all getting done. I mean, the bills will go out like normal, and everything's okay. getting done. So there's no worries there. Ideally, we'll have the position filled within the coming months. But you're still going to be training. Yes. For a couple months on that post. Yeah. Well, I'll be happier when I actually hear that you have an applicant. When I when I hear that, then I, then maybe I won't worry quite so much. Uh, you'll know because the shouting and hooping and hollering coming from <laughs> yeah. the office building will be substantial. Uh, might I suggest we look at this moment at another meeting, say in the December, January, February timeframe? 
to pick up the ordinance and any other bullets that we might think are relevant. I mean, what did this group think? Did this, was this beneficial or, or do we need to do this quarterly or, or are we, how, how do that? Well, I think we need to do it as long as there are issues that are unresolved. Between and, the two and groups. In the future, if yeah. something comes up, we can always reconvene, mm -hmm. but it's not like we have to do it on a regular basis once, once we've got the system down for a while. I would say January-ish. Yeah, I was thinking three, four months out. That may be the last one for a while, or it could be we've got a rhythm and yeah, then we can probably get it wait till after deer season, after the holidays. Oh yeah, but yeah. I'm not yeah. suggesting yeah. anything yeah. between now and the middle of January. Okay, just let's let's look at that. Because I, I think the biggest issue is that what we just yeah. saw. That was the biggest one I had in mind. The yeah. biggest one that I was worried about, and I didn't want to make a decision for you guys. We have a recommendation going up to the township board from, from the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, with the recommendation that we're sending up, is, is it, I mean, am I to understand then that we are suggesting if someone has a leak or incurs a huge water bill, there's no forgiveness on our side. We're not going to look at any policies or anything like that. Is that I'm not saying that for Did sure, but I'm saying that well, I haven't seen anything to date that leads me to believe that that is not the current case. Okay. Because I do have examples from other communities that don't have it tonight because I didn't think we were going to go there, but um, I don't want to bring it if that's not even something. If I may, Mr. Chairman, the latitude exists in the existing ordinance for a case-by-case -case basis. I don't think anybody's suggesting anything different than that. What we're suggesting is with the two circumstances, three circumstances, that we, we utilize what we have available to us to proceed with collection of the bills to include the utilization now of a payment plan address it rather than expecting all of it in one payment. Mm -hmm. So we will begin that process by putting a letter out assuming the board approves it that week going forward from there. But it, I don't think it precludes any type of case-by-case -case discussion because we haven't repealed that part of the ordinance. It's still in there. So that's the matter. And the only other thing I was going to mention that was brought up um, about when the payments go on the taxes, um, we do recoup that money um, the following tax year, the, the county treasurer pays us for all of the delinquent taxes. So if they don't pay their taxes and there's water on it, they pay us for it, so we do get the money back. However, if she has to foreclose on the property, she will not foreclose on a property if it's only water on the bill. So in that instance, we would then have to pay them back. Um, which is then we have to go to a collection, and I, I think this is important. As of right now, we don't collect enough information from people to send them to collections to be accurately um, collected against. All we take is a name, a phone number, a mailing address, and we bill it to their current address. There's never been like, anyway, you know, we don't have a driver's license or a social security number or anything like that to definitively tie um, people, oh. you know, as an identity. I have, I've sent two to collections and both were a failure because they have no way of being able to collect from them because we didn't have enough information. So we need to definitely look at uh, how we well, take- that sounds like a problem. Oh, it's a huge problem. It's been a problem for a long time. So that's something else we have to look at, like how we take- I think that sounds like a- I think we think oh, that's a yeah. lawyer thing yeah. to me. I, I, mean, I, I think, think that's got to go up. We need to have some kind that's of go up the chain. application and we can get information from the collection agency and then come up with a plan. That's that's what, we what, 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 what are we allowed to get uh, when we have a customer? Our, our database allows for all of that information. It, it, there's a spot for social, there's a that's spot for legal. <laughs> I, 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 I'm curious to see what we yeah. can do. Is that with the the billing software has that? So it, it, it For the utility, not the tax side, but the utility right. side does have it. So it's got to be legal if it's in that okay. software. Could be legal in some states. So do uh, we have a form for? Well, maybe that's what we need is a form. A we, need a, form. we need a better form. Maybe well, we need, we need a, an application or something. Because right now they just call, I write it on a piece of scrap paper, and I add them into the why don't we flush that out, be, if possible, between now and the next individual water board meetings, Jan November, December. 
we've got a document we can bring back to the individual groups and say, this is what Krista found relative to documentation of or information for the use of collections down the road. Okay. Does that make sense? That way we can get on the task. Probably we may not have it before the board meeting, but certainly we'll get it to everybody by December for review. And people can look at it and say, yep, that meets our needs. And then we kick it back up to the board and decide. Is there anything that prevents us from drawing this information from the past record? But the, I mean, we share information back and forth all the time, but the only information I have is usually just the mailing address. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. No record of it. But we did intentionally do this so that we. Right. No, we went once it's in, it's in. And, you to know. the owners of the property now yeah. instead of for that reason. So is there more Is there more information on the tax record side or no? Mm -hmm. There isn't more. Mm -hmm. oh. I have the ability to input a phone number and an email, which I do try to do, but if somebody buys it, that phone number goes over with it. I can't differentiate. My system sucks. Hers is way better because it's, it's by account per person. Okay. It's, it's a lot better. Okay. Yeah, Mark, it sounds like that can be revisited and, and flushed out in subsequent individual meetings and maybe brought back to the group meeting and then eventually we'll follow up and yeah. with this. Well, what, what about the, um, the credit check? Obviously, that you know some of these customers are, you know, even the rental units, they, they don't change hands as much anymore. So that the, the, you know, you don't, you, you may never get that information. If you do a friendly mailing, maybe you know we're updating our records, and we'd like to get. Ooh, yeah. on, some people are going to squeal. Well, yeah. <laughs> let's, then they don't send it in. They let's find out what we can get. Folks. Okay. All right. It's similar with the mailings that go out by Laura. You know about like things in your house and whatever. Yeah. They let out to you. They don't do that. Is that the same kind of situation with Facebook? In terms of the information you have. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. other communities must ask for more information because most people when they call and they find out they can just do it over the phone like that they're like oh really I don't have to sign anything or that's all you need from me you know we get that comment a lot so I, I always think we must just not be getting nearly enough information and we could always go look at another community's application yeah. uh, to see what they're I'll start digging we can yeah. put a form up on our website Are we done? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we have to we kind of roughly identified, Mr. Chairman, our next uh, meeting time frame after the holidays. Do we want to wait a little bit before we actually set dates? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Not, 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 not no, we don't need to set dates. Okay, 3.5 public comment. Hearing none, motion <laughs> adjourned. Where I'm seconded, now I'm here to see if I say aye. 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 Aye.